Hey everybody, welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel if you're new here. In today's video, I am going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, in a previous video, I challenged myself for the month of June to use my Tim Holtz stash and while it looks contained, <laughs> um, I definitely have an issue with collecting. Um, I've said it before, but I love Tim Holtz style, but uh, I don't tend to use it as often as I buy it because it can be a little bit grungy sometimes, and I think a lot of times I also get tired of it before I finish using it. And so I challenged myself for the month of June to use what I had and not really touch anything else. I've been telling myself for years to do this, and I'm fully committing. So in today's video, I am going to be uh, very ambitious and I'm going to be making a like mail folder ephemera packet thing. I don't even know what to call it. I'm sure by the time this video goes live, I will have a title of what to call it because you will have clicked on that title. But um, yeah, it's I'm just using these wallpaper papers. I think they're like 12 inches by... I don't know, six inches or something. I, I don't know, but they're kind of big. Uh, and I, they're, I think they're called um, the wallpaper. And this is from his newer stuff. I picked it up at Joann's. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I have gotten um, in the past, over the past couple months, well, over the past couple years, really, I have gotten at Joann's. I know that not every Joann is the same. Uh, and a lot of them have really small scrapbooking spaces, but mine is extensive. Like, we've got a lot, and they do not skimp on the Tim Holtz stuff. Usually there's an end cap for every holiday or every new release, so it's super easy to find. And then there's, like, a permanent um, area that has all of his stuff so I can get access to it pretty easily which is why I tend to buy a lot of it especially when the new stuff comes out and I'm just not using it very quickly so I, I think a lot of times I get a lot in the mail from my pen pals too and I think that's how I get burnt out pretty quickly is that I'm getting a lot of it in the mail as well so yeah, <laughs> I just want to use it up. So I just created a base and I just used some of his fabric tape and I reinforced it with some double-sided sticky tape and I just taped three pieces together. And now I'm creating like these flaps. So I scored and then cut um, a little sliver here you can see and I'm just gonna tape it down and I'm gonna do two of these I think. And then they're just gonna create like this flap this I don't know what to call it I kind of wish I had done it on the outside rather than the inside because when I open it um, it opens kind of funny and I'll I'll show you what I mean by that when we get further in to it being finished but um, yeah it just kind of opens funny and I think gravitationally it would have opened better if I had done it on the other side um, but in like my eyes visually, I felt like it was going to look good this way. So I didn't measure where I was scoring it and then cutting it. I was just looking at it how I want it to look sort of on the page. And um, I, I am not precise in that way, especially when I'm creating uh, like this and filming. I'm sort of just going with the flow and not being precise about anything, just going with what feels right. And... Um, I hope that just watching it sort of gives you a, a better understanding of what I'm doing, but um, yeah, not super precise. <laughs> so I have here, these are one of my newest purchases. I saw these online somewhere. I saw someone using them and I was like, oh, genius. <laughs> uh, and so I went out and purchased them. They're the journal cards and I'm sure they've been around for a while but for some reason, I've never purchased them. They've never um, sort of tickled my fancy, but I saw somebody do something with them online somewhere and thought it was genius and decided to give it a go. And I'm really loving them. Um, I think the labels that are printed on them can be fussy cut really easily and it becomes like extra ephemera that you can use. And I just, I love that. 
So I just taped on a secretarial pocket on the inside of the front cover. I was gonna put it on the back side, but full disclosure, totally taped it on the wrong side. <laughs> and so I had to switch it. And then I just used my ruler there to ensure that I was lining up these cards. Again, I just taped them on three sides and then turned them into pockets. I just used these cards as pockets and I really love the way it turns out. Uh, I don't have, um, I think if I had like a real idea of what I wanted um, to include in all of the little pockets rather than just shoving stuff in as I go so that you guys can see the vision, then I probably would have liked the outcome a little bit better, but um, after I filmed this, I haven't touched it since. So I haven't really been in my office at all actually the last couple of weeks, so yeah, I need to I need to fill this puppy and send her off. So what I just did there is I just fussy cut around the image that was already printed on the card and then I tore it where the the fake tape print was on there to so sort of look like it was actually ripped. And then I just taped the one side to that flap and these flaps um that vellum postcard print and that card that I just taped on and then this tag and then I'm going to put another card. These are going to be like pocket like holders. I'm going to end up turning them into ephemera holders. They're um, like a textural thing that I think is really going to work well. Uh, I like the end result because um, it's very textural and interactive and I love that. Uh, and I do glue some things down permanently. Um, but for a lot of it, it's just like a flap. I really wanted it to be super interactive. I wanted there to be a lot of movement and I just wanted it to be fun. So uh, yeah, I think I think I did an all right job. <laughs> so there I just um, did what I said earlier and fussy cut one of the tags out. I think that looks really cool and I turned that into a pocket. And here I am again going back to these flaps and I'm ripping the paper again to give it a little more texture. Uh, so that it would sort of pick itself up off of the flap that I'm taping it onto and to sort of break itself away from like the layers that it's going onto and I like the look of that. I'm all over the place. I'm really sorry. I'm trying to be informative as well as entertaining and I hope I'm doing a good job. <laughs> I didn't, like I said, I walked into this pro uh, project with no idea uh, no plan. I did not pre-plan any of this. I just hit record and went to town and I was trying to move as quickly as I could so that the video wasn't like three hours long. Also, I have to film during that time and that's never long enough. I ended up filming for 48 minutes and edited this video down to about 12. So I think I did pretty good. <laughs> um, I like I said like the end result and I do use a lot of the stuff that I have in my stash I'm using those tickets that came out last year um, right around when the pandemic hit because I remember like ordering it online at Joann's and doing like the curbside pickup because they weren't letting a bunch of people in at the time uh, and that's one of the things I ordered and then I glue some of it down so that it looks like those tickets are coming up out of that tag but it also creates texture and the incentive to pick it up and then I'm just gluing my glassine envelopes down that I'm going to stuff with those tickets and just all the fun stuff that I have been collecting all of these tags these tags came out at the same time that ticket book came out and yeah I'm just I'm just stuffing all of these pockets because that's the whole point of it right I just want this really interactive textural experience and that's what I'm going for it was at this point that I realized I can't glue this ticket down because I would be sealing that envelope so I just score it right there so that it bends but it also gives like a decorative sort of vibe and then I take some of this really fun is it tissue paper I think I don't know what people I think they're you're supposed to decoupage with it but it's really fun and it's already collaged and I decided to put it behind that see-through vellum postcard print and then I use one of these teeny tiny little binder clips to hold it on there again it creates like a textural experience and I think it's really really fun I really love how it all turns out so I'm just going through and flipping through everything. You can kind of see what I mean. Like when I'm when I flip that page, everything just sort of hangs instead of like flipping. See what I mean? 
if I had done it on the other side, that wouldn't have been a problem because it would have pulled with the thing a little bit better. But I'm just going through and making sure I like how everything looks and then deciding that I need some kind of closure. So I'm just using my Cropodile to put some eyelets in and I add some Avril yarn to it and it looks super good. I didn't measure anything. I just eyeballed it. And um, yeah, I like the end result. I loved this paper specifically. I wanted this to look like an old book. And like I was intentional with my paper choices from the wallpaper pack that I grabbed. I think it was the second one, wallpaper pack number two or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm not aiming for perfection, just trying to have fun with this. And I think the end result is pretty fun. I don't know. You guys tell me if you're inspired by this at all. I'm trying to get super creative and... Um, get out of my comfort zone a little bit with what I'm creating and what I'm making because I just feel like I'm doing a lot of the same thing right now and I wanted to get out of my comfort zone. So I'm just going to flip through everything so you guys can see exactly what I've done because I went quick there for a sec. I did edit it down a little bit so that it wasn't quite so long and intense. I'm going to add some bits of washi tape because I hadn't used his washi tape yet and um yeah, I'm gonna just cover some pieces up again because it just sort of looks like everything's laying flat and I want it to seem cohesive and I want it to sort of flow a little bit better. I love Tim Holtz washi tape. I have every roll I think that he's ever made. Um, it's just not as sticky as I would like. So sometimes I do reinforce it with glue or double-sided sticky tape. I don't know if it has gotten better or worse over the years, but um, I know that I, when I use it on like an, the outside of an envelope or something that I'm going to be flipping through a lot, I definitely try to reinforce it. And yeah, I'm just going to do a final flip through to make sure I like what I'm doing. I know I add some more butterflies and everything to make it feel cohesive through the whole thing, but I like where we're at. Um, I think this is it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this project and that you will be inspired to create a similar one. If you do, please definitely let me know uh, where you share it and I want to see it. I want to see what you guys do. I think this is a really fun project and a great way to use a lot of what you have. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I'm just showing you that I have a lot of space to bulk this up if I want to, but that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for hanging out. If you have any questions, as always, please feel free to leave them down below. If you're not subscribed, I would encourage you to do so, and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks. Bye.